everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a really fun project for you today. Today's project is one of those where we are making a quilt that we make all the time and we put the block together differently and all of a sudden we got this awesome surprise. So we're calling this pinwheel surprise because it wasn't what we were expecting it to look like but this is how it came out. So this is one of those fun what happens if moments. So to make this quilt, you're gonna need one roll of two and a half inch strips, and there are 40 of them on here. And we've used Grow by me and my sister for Moda. Um, beautiful, fun line. You're also gonna need about four and three quarters of background fabric. And that's gonna be this right here. It's gonna be these little squares here. It's gonna take uh, some background fabric to make this. So the tutorial that this was originally based off is called Sweet Stars. And um, which is a wonderful star pattern that you can make with a strip. Uh, but we happened to put it together wrong one day and guess what happened? This. So let me show you how to do this. So first of all, you're gonna take your two and a half inch strip and you're gonna cut it in four, four inch pieces and four, six inch pieces. So we're just gonna take our little ruler and we're gonna cut this and do four, four, and four, uh, four, six. And what we wanna do is we wanna have, um, it's, well, first this is gonna use almost your whole strip, which is nice because there's very little, very little waste. So there's our two sets of four. Now we need two sets of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's one, and then one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you actually have this one little square left. And if you were ever to decide to think out of the box and sash this quilt, these would be perfect for those little sashing corners. But we're gonna set ours aside for now because ours are just set together. So now you have two, two uh, four inch strips and two six inch strips. Let me set these all out here so you can see them, just like that. And, um, and then you need your squares to make the block. Now this is going to make this, the cutting directions that I'm giving you are for each block. So then you need some four inch squares and you're gonna need four of those. And again, I took a four inch strip. And a lot of times when I cut, let me set these apart. I like to fold my strip in half because it makes my cutting quicker because it's pretty easy to cut through four, uh, four layers of fabric if you have a nice sharp blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of these. And uh, so now I'm gonna count over four and cut again. And I have four right there. And that's what you need for each block. You're also gonna need eight two and a half inch squares. And so we're gonna take a two and a half inch strip that we've cut out of our background fabric. And we're gonna put that right here. And I'm just gonna trim off this fold and my selvages right here. And then I'm gonna come in and cut two and a half and two and a half. And, um, and you'll, you know, as you're cutting these, you know, you'll get it down to where you know exactly how many squares to cut, but you're gonna need eight for each block. All right, so now to assemble this block, the first thing we have to do is take our four, our four longs and our four or our four longs over here and our four shorts over here, and we are going to dog ear the corners. Now, when I talk about dog earing the corners, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our two and a half inch squares. Because our strip is two and a half, our square has to be two and a half. We are going to finger press that, and, um, and you can iron it as well. And we are going to put it up at the top of our strip, lining up this whole top section up here, and sew diagonally right across here. We're gonna do the same thing to all our strips, but there's one important factor. It doesn't matter which way these go, it matters that your shorts go one way and your longs go the other. So what I do is I try to sew my whole set of shorts, you know, so that that's all done, and then I come back and sew my set of longs so I make sure that they're opposite. So, uh, so let's go ahead and sew a set here, and I chain piece these when I sew. So again, you're gonna to want a to line to sew on because you're gonna sew right on that line. It's easier to sew in the valley than the hill. So if you, if you press them like this, I mean, you can always draw the line if you want, but if you press them like this, then you wanna make sure that your, your seam, your, your uh, pointy side of your seam is facing down. All right, 
Now all of mine are set on these blocks and they're all, now that that one's fixed, they're all going this direction. So we're going to sew all of those this direction. All right, so let's take these over to the sewing machine. Now we can very easily sew, we're going to sew right on that line and we're just going to start here. And as I get to the end of this, just like that, I'm following the line, sewing right on the line. I'm just going to add my next strip in. And this way it chain pieces one after the other after the other. And let me grab these two over here. And also it helps you because you see that they're going the same direction, which is really important. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to clip these apart. And we're going to trim off our excess right here, just like that. And then we'll press them open as soon as I get them all trimmed. You can do this with a rotary cutter if you like. You want to cut about a quarter of an inch away from that seam and make sure you cut on the outside, the outside side. You know, if you cut in here, you're going to lose your whole strip. So make sure you cut on that outside side. And then we're just going to set our seams and roll these back. And you can usually, you know, if you, if you spread them out, you can usually set them all pretty much at once and then roll them back. All right, so now our short ones are done. Now our long ones, we want to make sure go the other direction. So what we're going to do is we are going to fold this, put it, give us a, get us a sew line, and I'm going to lay it on here and I'm going to look at these and make sure they're going opposites, but they're not. So I have to make sure, and I have to do this because I'm angrily challenged. You know, I, I don't see things until they get right together. So now I see that this one is going this way and this one is going that way. And I'm going to do the same thing to all four of these blocks. And I have them done over here already. And you can see that they go opposite directions. So again, it doesn't matter which direction, it matters that they're opposite. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take four of our four inch background squares. And we're going to take our little guy right here. And we're going to sew him to the square so we're putting the color to the white, just like this. And we are going to do that to all four of our squares. So let's go ahead right over here and do that. Again, a quarter of an inch right down the side. And again, we can just chain piece these one after another after another, making sure you're sewing color to the background. All right, once you get your four short ones sewn on, again, we're going to clip and press. So let me just clip these and we'll bring them over to the ironing board set those seams and roll them back. Whoop, that one got a little wrinkled up from my iron. Let me fix him up right here. There we go. Nice and flat. That's what we like. All right, so then you're going to take this piece that you've got here like this and you're going to put your long guy, you're going to attach him to it, and you're going to attach him right along this side right here, and this little corner is going to hit this side, okay? So it's, remember, this corner goes to your color up here, and you're going to put that together like that, and we're going to sew a couple of these on as well. So again, here we are with this piece right here. What we're going to do is we're going to put this on here so that this white touches the color and the color touches the white. And we are going to just put those on right, fold them right sides together and sew a quarter of an inch right down the side. Don't worry about matching up where those two little uh, points come together, you know, where the white comes together. Don't worry about matching that up. We're just going to line them up along the side 
and sew them down and then we're going to again press them open like this and then you're going to have four of these done and I have a couple done right here so let's look at these and then you get to set them together so setting them together is really fun because you're just going to rotate them around like this and look what happens Oop, oh, there we go. There's that little pinwheel right there. How fun is that? So then you're just going to stitch this together like a four patch. We're going to put these two sides together. We'll head over to our sewing machine and sew them down. All right, now we get to press our block open makes this awesome little pinwheel. I love those kind of serendipitous things that happen when you're, you know, you're not expecting it or planning it and all of a sudden you're like, oh, that's so cool. All right, so here's our block. Isn't that adorable? I mean, it's just so cute. Now remember, each strip makes a block. So it changes the way you think about a two and a half inch strip. But that being said, there are 40 strips in these roll-ups. So we're only get 40 blocks which doesn't make, you know, means you can't use all the sizes unless you throw a couple more in because it does, doesn't divide evenly. So we've set ours up five by seven. So we used 35 of the strips um, to make the stars. And when we put them together, we just laid them together like this. So let's watch what happens as we start putting these together. Now I want you to notice right here, right here is a little secondary bow tie block. It makes a little bow tie or a butterfly block. So cute. And we're just going to sew these straight together. We're going to keep uh, adding them on here. We're just going to do it row by row. They go together so adorably. And of course, this fabric line is so cute. Isn't that cute? So we just sew them like that. Again, we have five across by seven down. Now, one of the things I want to show you, people often ask me, like, what's on the back of your quilt? So take a look at this backing. This is so cute. I love this little star pattern. I just think it's adorable. Makes a great back. To back a quilt this size, which this quilt is 60 by 75, you're gonna need about five and three quarter yards of backing. So that's a good thing to know. Remember, we've put like a little five inch border on here and just sewn them together and added our border and our quilt is finished. So this was just a really fun quilt to do because it was just that fun serendipitous mistake and we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the surprise pinwheels from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. <music>